Roses are red, violets are neater. You thought this was a poem, but it was me, Dio! You ever make tea in a microwave just to spite God? Oh, of all the posts to lose me followers, you guys have no problem with the clown breeding posts, but this is where you draw the line, huh? Okay, okay, okay. It's important to master blood magic and necromancy so you can make use of the whole body. Environmentally sustainable black magic. Remember, necromancy is really just advanced recycling. Reduce, reuse, reanimate. Tony Stark didn't die until he was canonically established as Spider-Man's father figure. Oh my god, it's the Peter Parker curse. I've got you now, Spider-Man! This is where you meet your end! You're like a father to me. <laughs> what the fuck? Ah, Spider-Man. Putting the E in dad for half a century. The Oscars. Lion King, Rise of Skywalker, and Cats among 20 films to advance in- Jeez! Spoilers! Raise a freaking Animorph? What the fuck? Oh, you think your life is hard? Try being a gay rat living in France who hates your dad and just wants to cook. Why did this post make me realize there are, like, no female rats in this movie? Actually, there is! She has one line at the end when she says, How do you know? Okay, so I just skimmed through the whole movie again, and here she is in the beginning. She doesn't say anything, and you wouldn't guess she was a girl because they don't do, like, that weird humanizing tits and longer eyelashes thing that most movies with animals do. So I'm pretty sure that the female-coded rats are the smaller rats, which is apparently accurate to real rats. Remy is also really small. After going through the movies, I also realized that there are only five rats that have actual lines. Remy, Emil, the dad, the really big bodyguard rat, and the rat at the end. Whack! Wait, hold up. The girl rats are smaller. Remy is smaller. <gasps> Remy is trans. Okay, so let me get this straight. Remy is trans and his father accepts that, but not his passion for cooking? Dad, I think I'm a boy. Yeah, sure, son. I'm also tired of eating literal rotted garbage. You what?! So I was looking up animal stereotypes and... Or none of you gonna tell me? The Geico Gecko can honestly be unfortunate. He's based off a Green Day Gecko, or a Giant Day Gecko, and unlike others who usually drop their tail when grabbed or such, these guys literally rip their entire skins off and run away in their naked little meat suits. I've taken care of some, and it's horrifying. So that's why it sells insurance. Right while well tired, they said. It'll help your productivity, they said. Her feet steps. <laughs> Okay, who do you think would win in a fight to the death between IHOPs and Denny's? Oh, I'd say Denny's. IHOP is where kids sometimes have birthday parties. Denny's is where I'd go to meet a hitman. I'm, I'm on board with that logic. Also, Denny's doesn't fuck around. They're usually the guys who pick up all the anime con goers, especially in Anime Expo because there's one like 15 minutes away from the convention center. And it's always jam-packed and the waiters don't care. Denny's would honestly win in a fight if they had to. Despite my often rabid behavior, I mostly like following cute positivity blogs and aesthetics. Aw, you really are a nice person under the feeling of absolute terror I experience every time I read your posts. Select your gender! Ah, there they are. The two genders. Only a cis deals in absolutes. My god, all of life and history aligned for that one joke. We're done, everyone. C go home. Nah, I'm just kidding, we got more. Kingdom Hearts trio be like bi girl with all the brain cells, Himbo and Sora. Wait, is Donald the bi girl? I hate this. Because it shows you automatically accepted Goofy as the Himbo! Hello, little human? Okay, kiss you now. Fun fact, the cat is checking the baby's mouth to see he's still breathing. If it were not breathing, the cat would commence to eat it. Hey! Fun fact indeed! <laughs> Jesus, it's terrifying. Alright kids, playtime's over! No, Sharon. It has only just begun. Coward. Well, what's he doing? Whatever he wants. Cause remember, when you are tiny and cute, you can control everything. Sometimes I'm confused by Canadian stereotypes, but then I realize that we literally dump maple syrup onto the snow, wait for it to get gooey, and then scoop it up with a stick and eat it. You better not be fucking around with me, Canada. Is this for real? Oh, it is all too real. Why does that look delicious? I just realized that as we go into the rioting 20s, this is the first time Fall Out Boy, Panic, and My Chemical Romance have been all active at the same time since 2009. The rioting 20s. Okay, first of all, HOW DARE YOU?! 